Welcome back to the channel, guys. Listen, I got a quick video. Again, this is for beginners only, all right? Because, I'm be honest with you, I am a beginner. You've been following my channel. You know I've been putting up some ham radio content lately because, again, I'm new to ham radio and I'm starting to get more involved in setting up my equipment for my house. Now, the reason, because... I want some decent comms in my house, all right? We live in a time that you cannot wait to prepare. If shit hit the fan, all right, it's already too late. I urge you to start thinking about redundancy in your house when it comes to communication, all right? We have landline, we have cell phones, we have the internet, all right, these are all redundancy for communication, but one of those can go down or all of those can go down. And if you don't have comms to get information, you're behind the eight ball. So I'm just gonna go right there. I'm not gonna give you the whole, the whole reason. If you think you need comms and you need to get into another redundant system to help you with your prepping, you already know why you need to do it. So I'm not gonna preach to you. But anyway, just to let you know, I end up picking up a tri-band antenna all right this is from comet and it's the cx333 all right so two mil two millimeter seven millimeter and i believe a 1.25 millimeter tri-band antenna so this is something that interests me that's pretty much i think will be beneficial for my needs as you can see i already pretty much set it up very easy to put in all right, I'm not going to show you how to do that. We put it together, directions straightforward. But before I put up the antenna, I need to waterproof it. So I end up picking up this called extreme tape. It's a self bonding tape. So I have that, I have my electrical tape, and I had to order some cables to hook these, this antenna up. All right. And I end up going with a company called ABR. All right, here's the, I'll put a link, or ABR Industry sent me some nice cables here, all right? Again, I thought about going through, you know, eBay, uh, not eBay, Amazon and order the ones Chinese made, but this is American made co uh, company. They custom make them to your length. And uh, tell you the truth, I'm glad I went this route. Brothers over there at the Great South, Great South Bay Hand Club turned me on to this company. And I'm glad they did. So I end up ordering me two, two 30 foots because I'm hooking up ham radio antenna. Plus I already, let me show if I can show you. I'm putting it up there on my mask. I already has a GMRS radio connected or uh, uh, mounted up there. So I still have to run the cable from there. So I'm putting up two antennas on my mask. So that's what I'm doing. Again, I'm a beginner. This is what I'm grabbing tape toward because I think this is the best setup for me. I end up picking up also, you're gonna have to get some surge protectors. So I end up picking up some MFJ surge protectors to connect to these two. So again, these are the type of things you're gonna need and research about when you get into ham radio and putting up antennas, all right? Um, the antenna part is very important. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna take you on a ride, show you how I'm setting it up. Any comments, any questions, any the advice, please hit it down below, let me know, all right? So that's what I'm pretty much doing right now, just getting an antenna. I haven't decided on which type of base radio I'm gonna get just yet, but I want to get the antenna up now because I can still connect my handheld. I got the little connector to go into the radio, so while I'm on the porch, I still can connect to the antenna, get a lot more range, all right? Off, even off of my um, HT, so that's pretty much it. Any questions, any comment, hit me below. Any parts I'm showing on here, I will be putting down links below. They will be affiliate. Please consider use those links. It does support the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So, and that's pretty much it, guys. So, enough of me talking, and let's just get into the video. Let's go. Okay, once I got everything connected, all right, it's important that I'm, at least been shown to me, is to make sure you waterproof this connection from here to here, all right? And it's just a 
again, to keep water out of your, your connections, because if you get water in there, it will interfere with your signal. What you should do, what I'm learning, that I'm gonna wrap this here first with electrical tape. Once I get the electrical tape wrapped around it, then I'm gonna come back with this extra tape. I right, will make it more waterproof and also UV resistance because this is gonna be exposed to the elements year round. So you want something up there secure so you don't get any water going into this connection. And using electrical tape, if I ever need to come back and service this, which I doubt it, but if I do, having electrical tape as your base makes it much easier of getting this tape off. If you do without the electrical tape, I'm learning that this is a mother <laughs> on trying to get it off and you probably can't get it off or will be too hard to get off. So just avoid that. I'm gonna do what the Romans do, <laughs> you know, so other channels say put the tape on and I'm gonna take their advice. So let me just get that connected. And from there, then we'll go to the next step. Okay, as you can see, I got it done. Now, my word of my advice, work from the bottom up. Cause what it does, it gives that the layer. So if water hits it, it just runs to the next one, to the next one, to the next one again, roll it down. So start from the bottom, work your way up for both the electrical and tight stuff. So that's on there and there's no water ever gonna get in between that connection. So that's step one on getting that secure. Now, we're gonna deal with the, the connection in the bottom here. Stand by and let me get this set up. Because what's gonna happen, this part here is gonna slip into here. The cable goes through here, all right? But I'm gonna run the cable in and get it connected and just, again, throw me another layer of tape over it as a precaution, again, to keep the water off of it. So let me just get that set up and we'll keep it moving. Okay, let me keep on moving with this now. Let me, I just wanna show you these, these cables from ABR Industry. Again, these are custom made cables, guys. These are some nice cables. I'm gonna tell you the truth now. All right, I paid for this for my own money, so they're, they're not endorsing me. I wish they would, but they're not endorsing me. But I called up, they got to be in, pretty much in less than a week or about a week. All right, got it to me about a week. Look how they come. There's very nice cables. All right. I ended up getting 30 feet because that's all I need. Because they want, I'm learning that you want to keep your cable as short as possible to your, your receiver or your transceiver as possible. It just helps in the transmission, less noise, what have you, less interference. So all I need is 30 feet, which is ideal. That's why I said it's ideal. Order them custom so you get exactly what you need and you're not overpaying for cable that you're not gonna use. And this is a male to female connection. Now, my dilemma now, as you can see, I'm putting it up there on that mask. That mask is pretty high, the top of it. So I'm gonna have to unscrew it at the base, lay it to the side and get up on the roof to connect the rest of it. So that's what I'm gonna have to end up doing just uh, to get that up. All right, I'm a one man show, but it's all good. But what I wanna do, what's important, I wanna slip this in first through here. Like that. All right. Get this connected and then throw some electrical tape and some of that other tape over this, to, again, to protect this connection. Let's see if I can show it to you guys. That's how it looks gonna look. Nice connection right there. So let me just put some electrical tape over this. Then we'll put this other tape over it. And then we're gonna pretty much seal this up to here. And then the next step, we'll just getting it up on the roof. Start from down here and work my way up. Again, if any water comes, does get through it, they'll hit the tape and continue on. And I just, again, I highly doubt any water will inf get into this, but it doesn't help. I mean, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt on taking precautions. All right, so I got that. Okay, that's it. And then...
Excellent. Just like that. And now we got a little screw that goes right here to lock this in. So let me just get this screwed in and then we'll pick it up on when I get up on the roof. So let's keep it moving. And again, I got my tent up here. These are like chimney braces to, to hold the mass up. So I, again, I will put a link below on this setup. If you don't want to drill into your chimney, using these type of straps are ideal. So now I'm just gonna lay it down like so. So I can connect the other one. And what I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna, I'm gonna bring this one, my house tenant down a little bit. There you go. All right. So I got that on there. Now let me just get the ham radio antenna, bring it up and I can connect it. Okay. Now the idea, to get this over the top of this pole right here and switch out my bit here and guys be careful on your roof when you're doing this type of work i don't know if it's gonna feel no, yes that's gonna fit good Right, that's in there that's not going anywhere so I got that connected so before I lift this up what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go with the other cable and hook up uh, for the GMRS radio antenna so let me get that also connected string it off with some zip ties onto the pole before we lift it up so stand by and let me get that situated got it okay got the ham radio antenna plugged in now we're gonna do the second antenna again cables by ABR industry very excellent cables I really like how they're made it's definitely you can tell quality when when you buy it now I ended up getting this attachment I put a link I forgot what this is called but it's supposed to help with the, the sound quality of the signal coming through so I had that installed again I'm still learning the terminology so forgive me if I can't I don't remember offhand but I know this is important to have, and this end goes closer to the house, uh, coming into the house. So, what I'm gonna do first, attach this here. And again, I'm gonna put uh, some electrical tape on this to avoid any water getting into it. Same thing like before, start from the bottom and work my way up. Okay, that's electrical. Now come back with this super electrical, I guess they call it. <sighs> Again, start from the bottom, just to get it started. Actually, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna cut a piece instead of trying to work with this whole roll. Can you hold that end for me? Thank you. All right. And it's good if you have an extra pair of hands. As you can see, I have my son up here helping me. It's greatly appreciative. Just like that. Okay. So, let's, okay. Now let's take this here. And right now, since I got two cables, I'm just gonna. I'm just tr trying to figure out the best way to tie this all together. All right, guys. I'm just gonna set this up 
try to get the zip tie and we'll come back and uh, show you my final, all right? So stand by. All right. If you can pants falling down, make sure you put a belt on too, guys. <laughs> so your pants don't fall down. I forgot to put my belt on. All right, what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna lift this up and rest it against here. And I got the thing there, I'm gonna screw it in. Huh? Gotta walk with the crap sideways. Yeah, that's fine. All right, it's, it's dangerous work up here. All right, guys, it's coming along. As you can see, it's way up there. Right now, just tighten it down with some zip ties. That's done, that's done. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, you hit record? Oh, okay, I didn't know it was record. All right, right now I'm just adjusting this, putting it in the middle, just a little further off from that antenna. Now I'm just gonna tighten it back up. All right, so this is my setup. What I'll do, after I get this all buttoned up, throw a couple more zip ties up here just to clean it up, so keep everything nice and clean and together. All right, that's good, that's good. And put one more and that's it all right guys i'm done as you can see I'll take you up a little closer on what i got up on my roof all right so finally got it installed and that's my setup all right i'm gonna be able to get two two millimeter 1.25 and 70 millimeter antenna tri-band antenna and also my GMRS antenna also installed. All right, attached to my chimney, with a chimney brace. Got the cable from ABR, I believe it's industry. Excellent cable to work with, you know. Remind me of my old recording days. Nice cable, well made, got everything tied up zip tied so it's good all right so i think that'll be it for my home base station i'm still working on getting my antenna for my truck it will also be a tri-band at least that's my idea and that'll be my communication setup so tell me get any opinions any comments any uh concerns let me know if of course, I will be grounding this. I have another cable, I'm gonna come up with the ground, it's gonna run into the side, and there's a ground right off the side of the house, so it will be grounded properly. But overall, I like the setup. Now I just have to check my TV antenna, and hopefully <coughs> my receptions are still coming in properly, which it shouldn't be a problem. Guys, hit me in the comments. Again, I'm a newbie to this. This is my first time setting up a ham radio antenna. Tell me how I did. Tell me uh, what you would do differently and be constructive, all right? All right, so this is uh, Kilo David 2, Zula Sierra David, signing off, 7-3.